Hi, everybody. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials, here today to talk about the subject of righteous indignation. You know how we feel when somebody has wronged us and we know we are right. The quote that came to me that I'm sending out this week says, the problem with righteous indignation is that even when you're right, you're left feeling indignant. So I looked up indignant in the dictionary, and it basically says feeling resentful, affronted, disgruntled, displeased, cross, angry, mad, annoyed, offended, exasperated, irritated, chagrined, vexed, irked, put out, miffed, aggravated, riled, in a huff, huffy, or ticked off. Hmm. Doesn't sound like much fun, does it? Now, I want to be very clear. I am not saying no one has a right to feel that. We have a right to feel whatever we want. And I think this whole tendency to defend our righteous indignation comes from a time where we didn't really feel we had a right to feel whatever we wanted to. We had to defend our right to feel however we wanted to feel. We were told maybe even we didn't have a right to feel that way or that we were wrong for feeling how we were feeling. Unfortunate. However, as adults, let's just get this really clear, we have a right to feel any way we want. The question is, is this how we want to feel? I remember when I felt righteously indignant, someone had stolen my wallet on the uh, subway in Athens. And I was just really, I can't believe they stole my wallet. They had no right to do that. Blah, 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 blah. And I was feeling this righteous indignation. And I was right, of course. They had no right to steal my wallet. But what I was doing during that time when I felt annoyed, angry, mad, put out, all of that, was I was not with the people I loved in a way that represented what was most important to me. I was on vacation with my family, the people that I love the most in the world, and I, I think love me the most in the world, and all of a sudden, these people who stole my wallet became more important than the people I loved. Finally, I got clear about that and decided to change how I felt based on my highest purpose, based on what's most important. So what I suggest we do is just look at the concept of righteous indignation and know that, yes, indeed, we do have a right to feel that. The question is, is this what we want to feel? Is this a statement we want to make about who we are? Would we recommend this righteous indignation to someone we love? The answer is no. What I encourage us to do when we find ourselves feeling wronged and needing to be right is get really clear about what's most important in that moment. The life we're creating, the kind of chemicals we're putting in our body, the experience of life we want to be responsible for and be able to create and recommend to those we love. I hope you found this valuable. I try to keep these videos short. And by the way, if you would like me to come and create a presentation for your organization around any of the topics that you see on my YouTube channel or my website, you can go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know you're interested, and I would love to talk with you about that. If you're interested in working with me as a coach, a life coach, or a psychologist, I do that with people all over the world, so get in touch with me same way. Go to the website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, and again, I would be happy to send you this information. Because my perspective on helping people isn't just about telling them not to feel this or you should feel this. It actually shows people how to engage a very specific part of the brain when you're wanting to access your clarity, your confidence, your creativity, your compassion, your ability to be influential in your life and in the lives of others. And how to avoid a very specific part of the brain when you're trying to avoid feeling that stress, frustration, angry, miffed, righteous indignation. So I look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, here is to you bringing more clarity, more confidence, more creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.